Short sleeves for our referee tonight, Brandon Stevis. As we get this one underway, it's El Paso Locomotive and Monterey Bay to close out the night in the USL Championship. Trying to get a little bit closer to the top of the standings and maybe a dream start coming. Hines going to ground. He gets right back up, fires it in front, and somehow this stays out. A fast start for El Paso. Said even at Fort Nall down, we kept trying to play, we kept trying to be positive. He said that pleased him. <laughs> it's the only thing that pleased him. As this is sending Siaha across the goal mouth, but nothing to test the Monterey Bay keeper. This one delivered in, heads go up. As far as Gleedle tries to head it back into the mixer, still available, blocked down and cleared away. Chance to run onto this for Maury Doner, who keeps it moving all the way to the end line, stood up to the back post. Chance to settle, Kai Green fires it out of play. Trying to sort his feet there. And to that point, El Paso though, the second best in terms of points gained from losing positions. And they have a shot here that's taken in by Siaha. Yeah, and just hearing from coach Brian Clairhout of El Paso, he said that New Mexico loss was a wake-up call for them. That's the way they see it. They're going to take the positives. Trying to get this all the way to the backside. Siaha did just enough to push that out of play. And he will take the corner kick all the way into the middle. It's a header that's on target and again taken by Siaha. Donor able to turn the corner. Maury Donor's cross. Again, just a bit too tall for Valeski. It's still available for Monterey Bay, and Betty Diaz gets his body behind the shot to keep it out. And for Benny Diaz, but Maury Donor here, a little drop of the shoulder, gets the ball in. And there's a slip from a defender here, Kostashin. And the strike comes in, but it's straight at the goalkeeper. And a break here for El Paso. Rose leads it. And here's Hines, early ball in. The header is just over the bar. Another near miss for El Paso Locomotive, but they're getting ever so close to finding that opener. Nick Hines again, he's got the pace. Great counter attack by Liam Rose, but Hines head up, puts the ball in. That is not far away, that is just over the bar. You'd fancy the goalkeeper's got that covered. To go away from home, get wins, to be the only team undefeated on the road, that just, it talks of having something a little bit special. And there is the first card. 13 appearances on loan from Cholos last year at Oakland Roots. Again, a loan spell here at El Paso. He's played now 14 matches this season. And a yellow card, this time going Monterey Bay's direction. And that should be to Adrian Rebelar. Well, it's been an exciting first half. Got to give both teams credit that both, oh, here we go. Trying to catch the keeper off his line. Diaz was there. James Murphy with a cheeky attempt there. <laughs> Tomer Martinez waiting for runners. Fair. Back for Martinez. Who whips the cross in. The header glances wide. Oh, we have hit halftime. No stoppage time at the end of this first 45 minutes. But... As we mentioned, good chances both sides. Yeah, they felt they could have hung on. They were trying to, they were having to defend, he admitted, but they felt they could have hung on for a draw. Advantage being played, the cross coming in. It's taken in by Benny Diaz. Valeski was free at the back post. They yeah, were coming not too far away from the time when coaches start looking to their bench and for Frank Yallop, he's got some nice choices there or options. Chase Boone, fresh legs off off the bench. Freed's content to let that play on. Kostashin tripped up. It is another yellow car. This one to Moby Fair. And maybe in that time they're readjusting, you can get a benefit. Here's Navarro. Trying to whip this ball in. Kai deflection and it's skied over the bar. Sanupe's first touch on the field could have been the opening goal. Perfectly for him, lovely ball in from Navarro. The former Watford man putting a lovely bend on it and 
doesn't get dealt with properly by Hugh Roberts and you've got to hit target. It's one thing if the goalkeeper Siaha makes a great save, but just sticking it over the crossbar from six yards with no pressure. Cross comes in. Lucho trying to get a shot away. Here's a shot. It's right down the chute, and Siaha's there to take it. Murphy, the ball, the diving header is over the bar. Valeski, thumbs up for that cross in. It was Lucho's big moment there. Wonderful ball in from McHugh. Great bit of skill from the big center half. Diaz way out of his box. This is last off of him. And a yellow card will go against the goalkeeper. Which I think is probably a fair reading of the situation. This is James Murphy. Not a bad effort. Murphy trying to cut that back into the middle and it's turned over. Chance to hit this from distance. He's done well, Sioha, this match. Also, another goalkeeper in good form, and that's a, that's a fair strike, isn't it? From Calvio, look at it from behind. In fact, that's, that's the correct approach. Corners whipped in, bouncing around and cleared. Some contact and a yellow card. Another ball lifted in. The header is wide. And that is the last action. We finish where we started.